수많은 외국인들이 한국 여행을 다녀가고 있습니다. 그리고 유독 외국인들이 하는 말이 있죠. 한국은 정말 독특한 나라인 것 같습니다. 라는 말인데요. 사실 한국인들에게는 평생을 살아온 한국 생활에 이미 익숙해져 있기 때문에 별다를 게 있겠나 싶지만 외국인들에게는 정말이지 아주 사소한 것 하나부터 놀랄 일이 굉장히 많다고 합니다. 그리고 모든 외국인을 대표한다고 말할 수는 없지만 한국에서 거주 중인 외국인 셰리가 한국의 흥미로운 사실 열가지라는 제목으로 영상을 업로드했는데요. 해당 영상을 본 수많은 해외 네티즌들은 내가 칠레에 거주할 때는 약국은 약국이 아니었고 서점 또한 서점이 아니었습니다. 그리고 우리 차에는 한국처럼 어둡고 짙은 창문은 없습니다. 한국 생활은 해본 사람만이 알수 있는 특별함이 있습니다. 특히 한국은 연인 사이에 커플링을 반드시 낀다는 점입니다. 한국에 한 가지 아쉬운 점이 있다면 그건 공기일 것입니다. 그거 말곤 모든 게 완벽한 곳입니다라는 반응을 보여주었습니다. 그럼 한국에 직접 거주 중인 셰리가 생각한 한국의 흥미로운 사실 열가지는 무엇이었을지 셰리의 영상을 번역해 살펴보도록 하겠습니다. 오케이, okay, so number one. There are police alarms in the public restrooms in South Korea. What is great about that is that it gives you a sense of safety when you use a public restroom day or night. And since Korea is really big on the nightlife, uh, it gives an opportunity for women to feel more safe when they use the bathroom. So if you come to South Korea and you see this button in your bathroom, don't press it unless you need assistance. But if you do, they will come quickly. Okay, number two. The car windows in South Korea are tinted super, super dark. I was really surprised because in America, there are laws restricting how dark the windows can be tinted and for good reason. It's for safety for, for I'm assuming, for the police officer. So when I came to South Korea and noticed that the windows are so dark, you can't see how many people are in the car. You can't even see that there's a person in the car. Sometimes they're so dark. I was really surprised. And when I mentioned it to my husband, he was surprised that I was surprised. But he did mention that a lot of people in Korea like to have their windows really tinted dark because Koreans don't like the sun because they don't like getting a tan. Don't be surprised when you see that. Also, one other thing you'll notice about the cars in South Korea is they will be almost all white or black cars. It, I am always on the lookout for cars of any other color. They just, you don't see very many of them. I don't know why, but Koreans just don't really like a lot of pop of color in their exterior car color, so. Eh. Okay, number three, since we're on the topic of cars, the horn honking culture in Korea, it blows my mind. Koreans are not afraid to use their horn, like all, all the time and my husband does this too i think it's just a culture thing because like in america we only use our horn if we're super like really trying to get someone's attention but we almost never use it i mean unless you have road rage we just we just really don't use it that often and when i had to use it i felt a little guilty but here in korea like because it's and to be fair it's a really dense country there's a lot of cars on the road there's a lot of traffic and a lot of the roads and are and alleyways are really tight so you, ha you have to use your horn a lot to let people know that you're there so i get it and i'm getting more used to it now but still it, it's something that you'll notice when you first come here that you hear the horn a lot <laughs> number four korea still has phone booths <laughs> Now, I'm sure in America, in some really secluded places and maybe very sparingly, you might see a phone booth, but I hadn't seen a phone booth in years in Oregon, anywhere where I had been. So it really surprises me because in Korea, in fact, I just took this video to show you on my way home, walking home from my Korean language class today. It was, they're, they're not hard to find. I've never actually seen anyone use them, but I'm sure they do, otherwise they wouldn't still be there. And they, they're modernized, so if you are desperate and you need a phone and for some reason you left your cell phone in your hotel room or at work... But does anyone even remember how to use a payphone? <laughs> I don't think I do. Okay, number five, y'all, we gotta talk about Korean pharmacies are not like Walgreens. You can't walk into a Korean pharmacy and get some cold medicine and also pick up a greeting card and maybe a six pack of beer. 
a pharmacy in South Korea is only a pharmacy. That's it. And when I try to explain to my Korean friends that I can do all of those things in the pharmacy back home, including buying toilet paper, maybe some makeup, even sometimes getting some photos <laughs> developed while I'm waiting for my prescriptions, they can't, they, they don't, they, they are confused and rightly so because when you come to Korea pharmacies here are pretty small they're like mom pop shops which is kind of cool I like that you know something else that I've noticed that's different and I have to admit I prefer the American way are cakes in Korea are, are different they're not bad I don't particularly like cakes in South Korea because I am used to American style cakes. In Korea, if you've ever watched a K-drama and you see um, a, a guy or a girl going to like Paris Baguette and buying one of those flat layer, you know, like this type of cake that's kind of dense looking and it's cute, cutesy, that's the only kind of cake they have here. And it is dense and it's not, it's not very sweet. Um, they have different kinds, but I really just prefer the American big fluffy cake with lots of different types of, I don't know, I just, I just do, I just, it's just my preference, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, another thing that's pretty interesting about South Korea, specifically Korean people, is predominantly Koreans don't eat breakfast. And there's a couple reasons for that. I eat breakfast, I actually buy a uh, protein bar that I eat every morning because I have medicine, I gotta take with some food. But Koreans are not huge on breakfast. So when they do eat breakfast, unlike America where we have breakfast food, they'll eat anything. They can, they can eat soup or fish, just whatever they want for breakfast. It's not like America where we kind of stick to the what you assume is American, like cereal or pancakes or sausage or eggs. It's just kind of whatever they had for dinner or, or lunch, whatever. But a lot of them will, will wait and eat. Their lunch is more of their breakfast. And sometimes they eat lunch a little earlier, like 11 o'clock. But Korea is a late night country and people in Korea stay up super late. So their meals just kind of get pushed out. And since dinner usually happens late and then they go out for their, sec their fourth meal where they're getting their chicken and beer even later into the night. So meals just kind of get pushed out. Let's talk about couples rings. So it's kind of cute but also kind of strange. So in Korea, I know you've probably heard of couples clothes. I'll talk, I have talked about it a little bit and I'll talk about it in another video, but something else that couples do is when they are officially boyfriend, girlfriend, they buy each other couple rings and they're matching rings. And I think it's really cute, but here's the, the thing that was really confusing to me because as you know, I married a Korean and when we were official, we did buy these couples rings, but to me, they're like wedding rings. They look and are just as expensive as wedding rings. So when we got engaged, my husband didn't actually get me an engagement ring because in Korea, engagement rings are not the culture. They don't do engagement rings. In fact, they really don't do wedding rings either. But you can best bet I made my man put a ring on it. <laughs> okay, number nine umbrella use so as a native oregonian in, in a state that rains nine months out of the year we're not big on umbrellas i mean i'm trying to think if i even owned one i think i owned an umbrella but based on my confusion about it i've never used it <laughs> but here in south korea and i'm not exaggerating on this if there is that teeny little drop they are all running to Daiso and loading up on the cheap umbrellas because they will not go outside without one. Just so you know, Daiso, you have to go to Daiso when you come to Korea. It's like their version of the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General, wherever you're from. Things are $5 and under, but it is amazing. And if you want me to do a video showing you what is in Daiso, leave a comment below and let me know. And if more enough people are interested, I will go into Daiso and record the snot out of that place. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think the big reason why that Koreans, I used to joke that Koreans are afraid of the rain. They're not. Um, I think it's because the rain is, it's dirty rain, you know, because in another video I did about Korean air pollution, when it rains, all that junk comes down with them and they just don't want to get it on their skin or on their clothes. So they use umbrellas. And lastly, 
Something that I have found I don't think exists in South Korea is fat-free milk. <laughs> don't come at me, y'all. Listen, everyone has their milk preference. They have milk here. It's, you know, they have whole milk, they have 2%. They might have 1%, but I have just drank fat-free milk for like 15, maybe 20 years. I don't know, it's been so long that anytime I drink any other kind of milk, it just makes me wanna gag. So I actually haven't even eaten cereal since I moved to South Korea. Yeah, they have cereal. They have American style cereal here, but I just, mm, that, ugh. I like my, my white water, y'all. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, please do subscribe. I am trying to get this channel monetized so I can afford to go out and show you more of South Korea. And also, if you would like to support the channel so I can financially do that. 오늘의 영상은 이것으로 마칠 텐데 영상이 유익하셨다면 구독과 좋아요, 알림 설정 한 번씩 부탁드리겠습니다. 다음 영상으로 찾아오겠습니다. 감사합니다.